Hey guys, and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really adorable pet bed. I made this for my neighbor's new kitten, Penny, and she absolutely loves it. She went straight to kneading it. It is made out of this beautiful minky fabric. Any information and measurements for this project will be at my blog, which is charmedbyashley.com. So you can head over there and figure out your measurements, what you need. Um, I will have small, medium, and large, depending on the size of your pet. Um, cut out your pieces and then we can get started. So the first thing you're going to do is take your half circle pattern and then put it onto some fabric with the straight edge on the fold. We're going to cut out two pieces. You can use two different prints or of course all one fabric. Totally up to you. We're using this beautiful minky fabric. It is so soft. The cats love it. So if you have a kitten or a cat, um, then this is definitely a top choice for the kitty cats. So we're just going to place these right sides together. Sew around the edge with about a half inch seam allowance. And then we're going to leave a five or six inch gap. And that will be used for stuffing. And we will also be turning this piece right sides out. So once you have it right side out, you're just going to lay it flat. And then we will take our template and we're going to chop off some of it. So if you want to make two separate patterns, if you plan on making a couple beds, then I would suggest that. If not, um, we will be ruining this pattern basically. Um, you can skip this part and just use some chalk or a disappearing ink pen, but um, the ink pen wouldn't really work on this fabric and the chalk might be too light for me so I just decided I don't need this pattern again so I'm just going to chop it off. So I cut off about 10 inches of the pattern and I'm going to be using that just as a guide for my sewing. So I'm just going to pin it onto my project making sure it's centered and then I'll just sew around the template so that I can have a perfect inner circle. And the inner circle is going to be the pet center pillow basically. So because I only had half of the pattern, I'm just going to sew the one half and then flip it and then sew the other half. We're also going to leave again another gap, but make sure that this gap is lined up with the first gap that is around the edge of the circle. So when you're working with this fabric, it is a little bit thick. Um, so I would definitely either use a walking foot or use a longer stitch length. So I use a 3.5 and that helped me get through um, the fabric better. Okay, so now we're going to go and work on stuffing our center pillow. So I'm just using some regular polyester fiber fill and I'm just going to put a bunch in the center. I'm not going to make it too full. I want it to still be nice and squishy, otherwise it won't form to itself. So once you have it good and squishy, like I said, we don't want to make it really hard, then we can close up that hole. So just do top stitch to complete that circle. And then we will work on the next seam, which is another top stitch. And we're going to do about a one inch seam allowance all the way around the edge and this is going to create the casing for our ribbon or our um, rope or cord or whatever you're planning on using so I'm just going to do that and then I'll leave another hole again where that first hole is and then that will help us be able to stuff the outer ring Okay, so now we are going to stuff our outer ring and again, we're not going to do it too full. We still want it to be nice and squishy. Um, if we do it too full, then it won't curl up when we go to cinch it together. I really love this pillow, especially if you're getting a kitten and you don't know how big the cat is going to grow up to. Especially for me, I got a kitten and she ended up being 17 pounds. So with this, you can cinch it up, make it a smaller bed, and then you can undo the cord and it'll lay flat and be a nice 
you know, just a big circle bed. So I really love this one. It's so easy and just, you know, why didn't I make this years ago? <laughs> so now I'm just going to take my cord. I put a little safety pin on the end. I put some tape around it so I didn't lose my safety pin. And I'm just going to thread it through that casing. And then after I'll have to do some top stitch work and just sew up that remaining holes around the cord. I didn't show that, but you know, it's straightforward. It's just hand sewing. And the good thing about this fabric is so fluffy that it's really forgiving, so it, you won't see your stitches. So just do some whip stitches to close up those holes. And then you're done. It's so beautiful. I love the colors my neighbor chose. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.